Hello, my name is Marcus. And I am Nisha, and this is Life with the Artists. Artists. So guys, we're actually finally starting our videos. Mark has been telling me for months, like, let's do these YouTube videos. And I've mm -hmm. had having every excuse under the sun, like, oh, my hair is not right. Oh, I don't have makeup on today. Oh, look what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. So actually, yeah. one of my sisters, she actually posted um, a video on Facebook a couple weeks ago. And she was basically stating, you know, take a leap of faith. Don't worry about your hair. Don't worry about your makeup, your appearance. So it kind of gave me the push to go ahead and um, start these YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people ask us how... Um, how we met. Yes, how we met. Mm -hmm. So basically in this video, we're going to go over um, the you know details of how we met. Mm -hmm. So it was in 2013. Um, both of us had just got out of bad relationships. Right. Um, Long-term relationships at that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so we were at this point where we were taking the time, you know, being alone and trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. And so... Getting to um, know our, ourselves and love ourselves. And, love our, yeah, reevaluating yeah. ourselves. Right. So um, one of my sisters basically told me that I should get on tag. And if you don't know, tag is a dating site. And I kept telling her, girl, I don't <laughs> want to get on no dating site. I don't want to meet nobody. I just want to be by myself and... That's it. Mm -hmm. So um, then one of my guy friends, which was like a brother to me, he basically told me that I was going to be one of those ladies sitting around with a whole bunch of cats if I didn't shake it off and get myself together. Mm -hmm. So a couple days go by and I'm like, OK, let me see what this tag site is all about. Mm -hmm. So I finally, you know, set up a uh, profile on tag. Mm -hmm. And so um, then I was receiving so many different emails from different guys. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't paying attention to any of them guys on there. Mm -hmm. So I come across Marcus, you know, and what attracted me to him, you know, from his profile was the way he dressed and his looks, of course. Mm -hmm. So then um, I emailed him back and then we can't remember what our conversations were because yeah. once we got serious, we deleted those. <laughs> we deleted I know our first out. conversation, uh, I, I asked you, I said, what was you doing? <clears throat> and you said uh, he was watching the game. Yep, yeah. I was watching basketball. Mm -hmm. And very, if you know me, you know I'm a, a huge basketball fan. Yeah. So um, that that was a, a good good sign, right there. Right. Like, yeah. Yep. So and then a couple days go by, I don't hear anything from him, y'all. He forgot about me. Mm -hmm. So then I like I was busy. Really? I wrote really? and I was basically like, I hope all is well. And then mm -hmm. um, he wrote me back. And then we exchanged numbers and then um, we would talk on the phone and text. I mean, all day, all day yeah. long. Like it was always good conversations. We never had like the same conversations. It was always good laughs. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just always a good time, you know. True indeed. So then um, he was living, I remind you, I was living in Roanoke. He was mm -hmm. living in Colonial Heights. Right. So, like, I don't even know how we got in the same radius on tag because yeah. we weren't even in the same area. He was four hours. Mm -hmm. So, then um, I started, like, we started going to each other's house on the weekends. Um, he actually was the one that introduced me to power. Trendy. And this was season one. Yeah. So, um, season one episode, the, like, the episode before the finale. And you didn't even think I was going to like power. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think she was going to like it. Um, I, it was coming on and I said... Um, I said, I don't care if she want to watch it or not. You know, it's my show. We're going to watch it. And she was just chilling. But uh, when the show was going off, I was turning it off. I didn't even know she was watching it. And I turned it off. And she was like, what are you doing? Play another one. I, I wanted like, to watch it. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah. like this? I was surprised that she liked it. And I was happy at the same time. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, you know, let's bring it so back. we started all the way from the first episode. Yeah. And we spent the whole weekend watching Power. I mean, right, right. Saturday and Sunday. We, we spent was on that whole... couch the whole weekend on the yep. couch watching Power. Yep. Mm -hmm. So then um, I, I went back to Roanoke. And he was in Colonial Heights. And at the time, we were having Bible study and different mm -hmm. things on the phone. Yeah, we had Bible study on the phone. And then um, I mentioned you coming to church. Right in Roanoke. That's well, the you, time you come to Roanoke. well before we started doing Bible study. Yeah, you you asked me. You said, uh, "How would you like to go to church with me?" And I said, "Oh, I said okay, sure." You know that was a good sign too because you know that's one thing I always said. Always said you know if a woman invites you to church, you know that's definitely a plus. You know because as a Christian man, you know it's so only right to have a Christian woman. So. Mm -hmm. So then, um, you know, we were going to Temple of the Way Out in Roanoke, Virginia. So shout out to them. Right. 
And then, um, like you said, we was having Bible study on the phone. And then we were going to Wednesday night services um, at Temple of the Way Out. And then we were going to Sunday night services as well. Mm -hmm. And then we actually got baptized together. Yep. Um, and we were, like I said, we were taking things very, very, very slow. Yeah. Because we didn't want to, like, go mm -hmm. through the hurt that we just came out of. So we were really getting to know each other before we would jump into you know, a serious relationship. And that was, it was crazy because even though we was taking things slow, you know, things was happening fast. It was happening very fast. Yeah, it was happening fast. fast. Like our feelings for one another was, was, you know, getting strong fast. And that's something that I never experienced. And, and that's something that she never been through either, you know? So it was just crazy how that happened. And then one day we went on a date um, to Thelma's. And, and we like both said the same thing. We both said the same thing, which is, um, we said our next relationship will be our last. Yep. Meaning that, you know, if we decide to bring it to the next level of them being our boyfriend slash girlfriend, then that would be the person. It. Yeah. That that'd it. be the person we was going to marry. Yep. Right. So then um, we went to Thelma's mm -hmm. and we were on a date and that's when he asked me to be his girlfriend. And then from there, you know, we, we got married a couple months later. Um, and it was basically like we were having Bible study and we always turned to the the Same scripture. scripture. Yeah. Yes. Basically stating that you should be married with that. If you're, you know, yeah. if you can't yeah. have self-control, then you need to marry. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and then uh, we actually did something like yeah, we, it was, we messed up. We messed up. Yeah. And then I tell you guys. God punished us. Yeah, because, because we was on our way from Roanoke to the DMV to visit my mom. Mm -hmm. I think that was her first time meeting you that day. I think that, so. Yeah. I think so. I we think was going out there so mom could meet you. And it started pouring down like hard out of nowhere. I lose my keys. So we're in like the I rain. Almost, I almost got in a keys. fight with a redneck. You know? almost got in a fight with somebody. I'm just like, okay, Anything God. bad that could happen, it happened, happened that, that day. day. Yeah. And I'm like, God, okay, we see you. We hear you. Yeah, it was like so, a spiritual uh, spanking. So we God made a decision that we were going to go ahead and get married. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I remind you, we we're supposed to get married right. the following year. Right, we that, that kind of sped up the yeah, process. Yeah, we weren't even thinking yeah. about getting married. Mm -hmm. It's just something that happened and that God was telling us. Well, we was thinking about getting married. We were, but I'm saying yeah. not in that very moment. We right, 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 right. So, um, so then uh, we actually got married. Mm hmm and then um, things just start going up from there. And it's actually coming up on and our six-year year anniversary. anniversary this yeah. weekend. So um, we've just been going up from there. And we actually have kids now. We have a set of twins. And we have um, a son. And I have a stepdaughter. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we have a large family right now. Right. We, have we have businesses. A big family. <laughs> we got businesses. We're just growing. Yeah. So we are mm -hmm. going to take you guys on a journey with us mm -hmm. on um, our businesses, our everyday life. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited to have you guys. Um, and we just ask that share you like, journey. share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And um, this is Life with the Artists. So we hope you enjoy. And we look forward to seeing you soon. All right, everyone. Good night. Good night.